Hi there, welcome to Average Joe's Vlog. I'm Stuart and we are here with the new 2013 facelift R8. Six years after its original launch, it's quite a testament that this car hasn't actually changed much from the original version. In terms of externals and the visuals, not too much has changed. It tends to be more the mechanical side with the introduction of a double clutch. Uh, let's see how that performs. Make sure you take a step back and just admire its beauty. This particular model is in a red, which personally is not a colour I would ever choose, but even on the R8 it just works. It's loved by everybody, old, young, whatever it may be, everybody takes a look, they smile, people comment on the car, and I've actually probably never driven a car that's caught as many eyes or has turned as many heads as this particular car has. I guess in a way over the last six, seven years it's become a bit of a motoring icon. It's become one of the best known and most loved cars on the road. You could argue in a way, thanks to Hollywood, Mr Tony Stark and Iron Man for previewing it back in I think 2006 it was, but it's, it's just such a beautiful car from any angle you will find and find it very difficult to fault this car. Once you do come into the cabin, this is the one area of the car that, to be honest, really needed the facelift. 2006 now, so it's actually quite aged. It's obviously typical Audi, but the current crop of cars has just got such a more aesthetically pleasing interior. It's strange if you get in today's A3, you're actually with a more pleasurable, more aspirational interior than you are in a £90,000 R8. It's a bit of a weird paradigm. It still works, it's simple, it's a driver's car, it doesn't need too much going on, but in terms of those extra little bits of tricks and tips, I just think it could be that little bit better. On the road, that is where this car really comes into its own. Dub the everyday sports car, it pretty much hits that nail on the head. With the new suspension in the facelift model, you have a sports mode and you have a normal mode and in normal it does soak up the bumps, it does soak up speed humps and it makes for a more comfortable ride. However, it's a bit like a raging bull ready to pounce out of its cage and if you put it in sports mode, that instant power is there kicking you back into your seat and then it's just it puts smiles on your face, it makes it a joy to behold to drive. Overall, what do we think of the Audi R8? It is very much an everyday sports car, and if it wasn't for the interior, it would be probably the best car I've ever driven. It is the most fun I've ever had on any amount of wheel, whether that be one to 10. And it is amazing, it does turn heads, and it does everything you would want it to do. Bearing in mind, yes, 90,000 pounds for some of us is a lot of money, but ultimately, this is competing against cars double, even triple that price. It holds its own and it makes a difference whilst it's doing it. The Audi R8 is still one of the best cars on the road today and still is very firmly in the supercar. 